This is a pretty quick tutorial on how to make calls from the contacts that are stored on your SIM card and not on Outlook contacts. So first thing we do is go over to Programs and there's the SIM Manager and it's highlighted because I have uh, previously looked at it so you, sometimes you have to scroll up and down in order to find that so you click the SIM Manager open it up and there are all the cards or all of the contacts that are stored on your SIM card and sometimes it takes a while uh, for them to load or populate now you can go over here click start go to help and it will tell you the help settings or the help files show you the help files for the SIM card manager and first things it says is your pocket PC phone is designed to store call information and contacts on your device not the SIM card SIM manager lets you view the contents of your SIM card transfer your SIM card contacts to your device and make a call to a contact in your SIM card however you can make calls to contacts on the SIM card and here is the explanation on how to do that so we'll just close the help file it takes a while to do it because this uh, capture program slows things down now we're back we've highlighted a number that we'd like to call and all of this is spelled out in the help file by the way whoops made a mistake there wrong pretend I didn't do that Doo -doo -doo. Now, we go back to the number one uh, call and you click and hold on it until this menu pops up. And I can edit that, delete it, save to contacts, which is what they advise you to do. But uh, the writer said uh, she doesn't want to go through all the contacts so that because there are so many and there aren't a lot of them on the SIM card. Now we click call. And as you can see, it's calling that contact. And I'll click End before it actually goes through. Now, let me go back to the Start menu. We go to Today. Uh, how do you find the SIM Manager without going to hunt through the programs? Well, I have uh, the SBC Pocket Plus program on here. I tried to put the SIM manager on the Today screen and it's not possible. So what I can do is if you have SPB Pocket Plus installed, you just click here. Hopefully this is going to work. Da, da, da. Everything is very slow because it's uh, on. There we go. It's on this capture program. So, here are what you can do with the feature. And we click Feature Options. There we go. Now you can put this in any screen on uh, SPP, SPB Pocket Plus. So, since it's calling, I suggest you put it in Connect. I haven't done this, so I don't know if it'll work. So now you click Items. And hopefully it will be under Programs. Again, taking a little time to, 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 to load. And now we scroll down. And hopefully we will find the SIM card manager on there. Da, da. Let me know if you see it. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, that's the Bluetooth Explorer. We don't want that one. SIM Manager. There it is. So now we select that, and it should appear 
on our today screen under the SPB Pocket Plus menu. And keep clicking until I get out of it. As I say, this shouldn't take so long. Uh, it's because I have a capture program and it's going all the way back to the computer and slowing things really, really down. There we go. And I will just click Close All. Da -da -da. And eventually it will close all. Now we have our main screen here. And we'll go to Connect. And there's our SIM manager. So whenever you need to make a call from your SIM manager, you just go to Connect, click on it, and it opens up the SIM manager. Uh, one of the next uh, tutorials I do, I'll show you some very nifty SPB software for managing your phone and phone contacts. But that'll do it for now.